welcome to the Brothers MD. Our vision is to present clinical research studies in audiovisual format. In this video, we will be discussing the 2014 guidelines in the management of atrial fibrillation. These guidelines have been suggested by the American Heart Association, the American College of Cardiology, the Heart Rhythm Society, in collaboration with the Society of Thoracic Surgery. We're not affiliated with any of these societies, studies, or journals. We're here to discuss the key points. Let's take a look. The first recommendation replaces the CHADS-2 score by CHADS-2-VASC. CHADS-2-VASC accounts for an increased number of risk factors such as sex, age from 65 to 74, and the prevalence of vascular disease. The goal of this replacement is to define risk in previously low-risk populations. Let's clarify the new point system in CHADS 2 VASC. CHF is given 1 point, hypertension is given 1 point, age more than 75 is given 2 points, diabetes is given 1 point, and stroke is still given 2 points. Vascular disease is given 1 point, Age more than 65 is still given one point, and sex categories, which means women, is given one point, for a total of nine points. The second recommendation sees a diminished role of aspirin as an anticoagulant. Many studies have shown none or weak benefit in stroke reduction. The third recommendation introduces Three new treatment options for anticoagulation. The first being dabigatran, as evidenced by the RELY study, rivaroxaban, as evidenced by the Rocket AF study, and apixaban, as evidenced by the Aristotle study. All of these new anticoagulants are more predictable, have fewer drug interactions and have lower risk of intracranial bleeds in comparison with warfarin. The fourth recommendation sees an increased role of radiofrequency ablation. In summary, CHADS-2 is now replaced by CHADS-2-VAS. Secondly, there is a diminished role of aspirin in management. In addition, there are three new anticoagulants. And fourthly, there is an increased role of radiofrequency ablation in the management of non-valvular atrial fibrillation. Be sure to subscribe to us as we will be creating more summary videos on a weekly basis. You can also find out more about us and what we do at brothersmd.com. If you would like for us to summarize any particular studies or any update to guidelines, Please leave your suggestions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.